Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and for this video I'm going to show you how to make a cut that'll fit an odd shaped Dollar Tree sign. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. It's just going to be a short little tutorial. I just want to show you guys how to do this that way when you have an odd shaped sign or project you don't feel intimidated to be able to make a perfect cut. So I start by opening design space and then I search for a half circle. Once I have my half circle inserted into design space, then I unlock it in the left hand corner of the shape. I reshape it at the top. You can or resize it I should say you can um, type in your measurements I always measure my sign first and then I added a square to the bottom of it unlock that as well and resize that down as well next I just kind of figure out what I want on my sign so originally I was going to put a glue gun at the top with some greenery on the side but it didn't look right so I did decide to just take the greenery on either side and then I inserted a heart shape and put that right in the middle I also wanted to mention that I did get the glue gun and the greenery right from Cricut Design Space. They have thousands of images to choose from, so I definitely recommend to have Cricut access. It's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, and then I add some text and I'm going to put a welcome to the she shed because ever since I've had my shed I have not made a sign for it so this is going to sit on the outside and once I add in my text then I am able to just size that the way I want it as well as changing the font now this font is from fontbundles.net it's called hello bluebird and you can download that i believe it was only about a dollar when they had their special going on um, but once i had all that sized then the reason that you create the shape in the back is that way you can um, design your project and make sure that it fits on your actual project perfectly and then once you have it perfectly where you want it then you can drag that shape from the back delete it and then send the project to your machine now because I did not weld this together it is going to make different cuts I did end up welding welcome to the she shed and then I welded the top piece that way welcome to the she shed will cut as one cut and then the design at the top will also um, cut as one cut so anyway I did want to tell you a few of my favorite features with the Cricut Joy this is by far my favorite machine you guys just because of the simplicity it's lightweight and portable the Joy is really small so it's great for a few different reasons um, it's just under four pounds you can fit it anywhere in your house and the new ecosystem with the new materials and new tools I absolutely love the smart materials you guys they make your life so much easier and they come in smart vinyl smart iron-on smart writable vinyl um, which goes into my next point that it's matless cutting with the smart materials so you don't have to measure it out stick it on a mat and all that extra all those extra steps I should say um, another one of my favorite features is that it cuts cuts up to 20 feet long with the smart materials um, you can also get a card mat and insert cards and make gorgeous cards for any holiday and then last but not least you guys have heard me talk about this all the time so the last point that I wanted to make was just that it you can create smart labels so you can use your Cricut Joy pens and create all types of different labels so like I said, those are just a few of my top favorite things about the Cricut Joy. And then the other tip I wanted to give you guys, I actually got this tip from my good friend over at the Weeks Nest, Nicole. You can go to your computer, and this is perfect for me. Go to your computer, create your design, 
and once that's in the cloud on your Cricut Access and Design Space, then I take my phone with my Cricut app and I go to my shed because my shed doesn't have the best Wi-Fi. I bought an extender. I've done all these things to try to extend my Wi-Fi and it still is spotty. So with my phone service, I can use Cricut Design Space and I just pull up my project and send it right to the machine right at my or right in my shed I should say so I did want to give you guys that little tip because I'm always looking for ways to use my Cricut in very efficient ways so I hope that this video gave you a couple little tips and tricks on how to cut really odd shaped projects that way they fit on your signs or whatever you are using perfectly and um I hope that you guys will give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I love this sign, you guys. Um, at first, I was going to use the iron-on because you can use the iron-on things like this, the iron-on on things like this, but I ended up just going with the holographic um, vinyl. I love it so much. So anyway, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely gorgeous. You are worthy. And I love you with all my heart and soul. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.